Hi everyone, welcome back to another lesson. Now, what we're going to do in this method is we basically going to be able to let's create a category and actually store it in our database. And the other thing I just want to do, I just wanted to update us on the created add date. So I just will kind of get a simpler way to do this. So if you want to know how to do that, let me just show you quickly. So basically, what I've done is in our index. I just calling on a method. So basically our category and I'm calling on the created at method. So I created that method inside my model right here. So I got a public function created at date and I just return this created at date with a format. So if I call in our index method again, I'm just calling on that method and that method is here right here and we actually do the format so if you want to do your formats you can just do them all here so when you call on that method all the dates are formatted nicely all right otherwise you have to do a whole lot of other things added protected cast and stuff like that and i don't want to get into that in this series all right thank you guys for that so let's just get started and get cooking so what i've done is i've also updated for the delete method I just created a form with a method of delete and a button. So I just changed the anchor tag to a button and just remove, basically move everything inside the form and actually just to delete that uh, uh, category. All right. So if you guys can pause the video and just copy this part right there. Okay. So we've got still got the trash icon and then we just basically put the button with the type of submit and we kept the coloring everything right there all right so let's go to our category controller right here so what we want to do now is we want to just let's return the request all right let's return the request and see what it returns all right so if we want to create a control uh, category right here so let's do one let's create one just call it add all right as you can see it returns the name and obviously the post right there Right, so let's go back to Visual Studio Code and validate this quickly. So we're going to do this, validate, and what we want to do, we want to validate the request and then array, and we just want to make sure that the name, we're going to return an array, the array, it must be required and it must be unique. Must be unique basically in a categories table. All right, so I'm just going to delete, leave this out. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for the validation. And now for the category to create one, we're just going to call in the model and we're going to call the create method on it. Just to learn something new. All right, and what we want to do is we want to do the name. And the name is going to be equal to the request name because you guys remember when we just checked it now, when we did the return the request, you can see the name object, the name property is being passed through. And the slug will basically be the string uh, slug, and the slug will basically be come from the request name. All right, so this helper function just automatically creates a slug from whatever we pass through as a value. And just make sure you import it at the top. As you can see, it's already imported right there. And that what we want to do is we want to return redirect to a route. And it's going to be admin of categories index. All right, with a message, with success. And the message is going to be short and sweet category created all right so let's test if we can create a category let's use the same one let's just call it new get uh, category well, that's created as you can see it created the category for us there all right so now what we want to do is we want to edit and obviously delete the category so we want to do those two so let's go back to Visual Studio Code or whatever code editor you use. And I just want to return the category. 
let's see. I like to do this just to see what it returns. Just preference, I guess. It's just how I like to work. All right, so let's just do that. So let's edit that. As you can see, it returns the category, it brings the ID, the new category, and obviously the timestamps and everything in there. All right, but what I, you can obviously use the die and dump method to get more information. But yes, let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And what we want to do in this case, we just want to return a view. And that's going to be admin categories added. And we obviously just want to pass a compact method just with the category, uh, this category right there. Okay, so we just want to pass it in there. Okay, so let's go to the edit view. Now in the edit view, I just copied everything from our create view right here. Everything, just copy everything and paste it inside here. And now what you want to do is you just change the route to update route and just pass in the category uh, model right there and the property and you just put the method of put right there. Then inside the value of your input, let me just make this a little bit like this. Okay, inside your value of input, you just put the category dot uh, name right there. Don't do this, don't add this because you're going to get an error as this is a Blake component property right there, data that you're passing through. Okay, so that's it. And then you just change the button to update. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go and test it. So in our edit view, if we go there, unexpected. Oh boy. I forgot to add a semicolon right there. That's why we're getting an error. Even this was red as well. So if we go back again and refresh, it's supposed to be fine now. Okay. So instead of new category, I'm just going to do categories and just do update. As you can see, it moves there. All right. So if we go to update method, I'm just going to return the request. Okay, so let's go back to update again. As you can see, it brings us the request. So it gives us a new name and everything. It's got a put method in there. That's all good. And yes. Okay, so let's go back and just put in, fill in the methods in here. So we obviously need to validate it. So I'm just going to use the same validation. Just bring it back here. And what we want to do is. We want to get the category, the category that we're passing through right here. And we just want to do an update on that on that category. And what we want to update, we want to update these two right here. Okay. And then we obviously want to return a redirect to the route. So we can copy this as well. Life of a programmer, copy and paste. All right, success, category, updated. Just want to keep the messages at the moment short and sweet. All right, so basically we do our validation right there. We update the category. So the reason why I'm doing this way is I just want you guys to learn something new, a new way to do it. So there's different ways to do the same thing. Before, we, what we would have done is we just would have done take the category and dot name and equal that to the request dot name. We would have done that, but we can actually do it in a much simpler way, just like this. Okay. There's even a more simpler way in that is just to basically let this equal to a request and you just pass in the request right there. But this works better for me. All right. And in this case, what we want to do is we want to take that category that we're passing through right there. And we just want it to delete it. Not the method. We just want to pass delete it. And then we just want to return redirect. Delete it. Like this. All right, so we go to our destroy method, and this is our update and our edit in our store in this lesson. All right, so let's see if it all works. Go back to the browser, refresh. We've got our new categories. Let's just make it new category. 
updated. Okay, name has already been taken. Okay, because it it was looking for a unique name. So if we change it to something else, all right. So everything works. So if we delete it, you can see it deletes it as well. Obviously, there's no alerts yet. We're still going to get to that. And yes, that's it for this lesson, guys. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you don't like it, please give it a dislike. And I will see you in the next one where we're able to create the tags. We do all the tag orientated stuff in the next one. All right. So we're done with the categories now. So after the tags, then we can be able to just let the user be able to create actually a thread because it's going to require the category and a tag to create a thread. Right, so that's why we're going this route. All right, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. And hope you guys have a good one. Thank you, and goodbye.